Megan shows her maternal side as she reassures a girl, seven, who was led away crying after becoming overwhelmed during a performance for the royal couple. Meghan Markle showed her maternal side when she comforted the shy school girl during an engagement with fiancé Prince Harry today. The bride-to-be stepped aside to have a quiet word with seven-year-old Ada Ways after she was led away crying during a performance for the royal couple at a Cardiff community centre. Kneeling down to hold the girl's hand, Meghan, 36, reassured her, I used to be shy too. Spotting what his fiancé was doing, Harry, 35, joined them in the corner and shook the girl's hand. After checking Ayla Ways was all right, the royal couple returned to watching the others perform their routine. At one point they crouched down against the wall as the children showed off their break dance moves. It was among a number of heartwarming moments that were captured on camera during the visit to the community and leisure center in Cardiff. At one point the proud prince encouraged a group of dancing youngsters to mock his bride-to-be, saying, Let's all give Megan the group hug. Megan beamed as the excited children crowded around, reaching out to wrap their arms around her. The couple were in the economically deprived area of Tremor Pop, where they visited Star Hub, a community and leisure center which uses sport to engage young people and aid social development. Harry and Megan were particularly keen to see the work of street games, which the prince has worked with previously, which works to make sport accessible to all young people regardless of their social circumstances. The couple were met by hordes of screaming crowds, which the prince shook his head in shock on hearing. Inside they had a brief private meeting before going into the gym where a group of local school girls from the Us Girls Project, set up to encourage women to take part in sport, are on exercise bikes. How long have you been pedaling? Harry asked the girls who had been forced to pedal for several minutes while waiting for their arrival. And yet you are all still smiling said Megan, who introduced herself to each and every one of them by name. How much better is it to come here each evening instead of sitting at home playing on the PlayStation, she added. Afterwards Mary Coffey, 13, from Willow High School said, she was amazing, so easy to talk to. And so beautiful. There was a glow about her. And her teeth. I can't believe I was talking to someone who lives in Buckingham Palace. Afterwards the couple went in to see a group of youngsters playing table tennis. Megan was given to bouquets of flowers by Kyden Williams, 10. For me, she said, how thoughtful of you. I love them. She also couldn't resist playing the game of Jenga, balancing wooden blocks on top of each other, with Kevin Chiju out, 12. I love this game, she said, you need so much patience for it, it teaches you patience too. Clutching her throat she her hand she added, it makes me so nervous just watching it. Lastly she and Harry watched a group of children street dancing to songs including Boomerang and Dispisito. The couple, particularly Megan, were clearly in trance as they walked in and Harry couldn't try out a few moves of his own. Afterwards they chatted with the children, with Megan and Harry roaring with laughter when one boy shouted out, are you married yet? Another little girl told him, I'm going to be dancing at your wedding. You're going to be dancing at my wedding, said Harry, promise. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet, said Megan. Who's the best dancer in the room then? Asked Harry.